do I suck at doing this? So, uh, the last episode that we did on here on the Bowden server was all the way back at Christmas. And let me tell you what. Oh. Oh. There's so much new. Oh, man. What did I do? I just took a look at the episode to see, oh, what's new? What do I need to cover? Everything. I need to cover everything. Uh-uh. So, we're going to have to rush this, baby. Because I don't believe I, this was even covered. So, let's go ahead and start right here <clears throat> in the town hall. Where we have a villager trading thing. Well, not really trading, but uh, basically villagers farming, tossing to the middle guy. And basically, we get to reap the benefits of their hard work. Uh, built by Daniel, of course. Daniel loves building these stupid things. And, uh, holy god. That's, that's a little bit much. Um, also built by Daniel, we have this thing straight ahead. Which is just an AFK melon farm, essentially. I don't know why there's some blocks missing on the side of it. Oh, I'm guessing that's just architectural detail but let's see how well this thing has been working that's been working pretty well but yeah there's we got a lot of afk stuff kind of going around here at town hall as well as the uh, AK, afk cactus i think i had that last episode uh let's see did everyone get their stuff for christmas i think everyone did oh wait a minute daniel didn't get any of his stuff apparently and we didn't have Watch Malone get his stuff yet. But, that is cool though that we have that going on. Uh, this. Uh, yeah, I have probably like three episodes backlogged that I just never edited. And I need to get with the times. <laughs> so this is Town Hall. Where I did probably two videos covering the building of Town Hall. And you just will never get to see them now because I suck at what I do. I'm just not going to lie. I suck at covering this stuff. We're like... <laughs> we should be like on episode 15, but we're on episode 4. So, if you want to know something, we're going to just have to deal with it. But, basically the main thing I wanted to cover here was basically having it so everyone had mailboxes. There were some community chests. Uh, we had some signs, which I don't think anyone has used a message board. We'll check our mailbox really quick. I doubt we have any... Oh, we got polar bear heads! Oh, oh, I love polar bear heads. Oh, they're so cute. Look how cute and adorable they are. This means the polar bears died, but I get to wear their head. Oh, I love it. But we also have the community enchantment station. And down underneath, if we... Well, actually, when we kill the dragon, uh, we'll be meeting up down here. Which I actually need to schedule that here pretty soon. But, yeah, I built all this. It took, it took about a week to do. And uh, then we had this being built at the same time as Daniel's little church over here. Well, actually not little. It's pretty massive. There's more than meets the eye. Also, this path, by the way, we'll take a flight here in a bit. And we'll show you how big it is. But it makes a huge square that surrounds Town Hall. But this is what Daniel's church looks like. Absolutely beautiful. Still working on the chandelier design. But underneath you have a nega church, which I absolutely love the idea of. The only thing is, is that there's a lot of there's a lot of glowstone down there, and I'm not sure the glowstone is staying. He might be still trying to figure out how to do some hidden lighting for that, because we don't have any I don't have anything up here, so I don't know what's going on with that. But that is kind of where we're at with that. And if we come on over here, then we have some... Uh, we got a creeper farm. Which we found this little spawner down here just hanging out. And it was like so close to the path that we were like, we have to use it. And we decided to go ahead and make it into a creeper spawner. Which absolutely, I agree, was something that we needed. So, but yeah, unfortunately, these are, n yeah, I need to get that fixed. These are not in the spawn chunks, so unfortunately, this does not run all the time. I wish that it could, but let's go and hop on in here really quick. And this is what has become of the trading outpost. We have basically everyone unlocked to full now at this point, which is absolutely wonderful, but we keep losing... Like, you, those, those guys we've lost a couple of, we've lost a lot of these guys. 
and we need to get some new ones. But up here, everyone is still pretty much the same. Um, and we just have them kind of free roaming about, which, oh god. Um, we got pretty much all the good trades. The only one that we're still missing is just efficiency 5. Uh, we had a couple efficiency 3s come along, but we want efficiency 5. We're holding out for the ultimate. So that is what has been going on there. Uh, if we go ahead and continue on over here, of course, like I said, the path has been continued to make a full square. And we can actually fly up really quick and show that off. Um, but yeah, this whole middle area is just what we're calling Town Hall. And the beacons are kind of showing... Let's go and land. Uh, the beacons kind of show like the outlines of it. That beacon right there kind of throws, throws things off. But it's supposed to be nine... Um, no, eight. So it's supposed to be one, two, three, then four, five, six, seven, and then eight. Um, kind of showing the outline of what all is here. And I need to get some food, so let's go ahead and start heading towards my base. Which, honestly, I do love this. If you uh, saw last season at all, I made a nether portal type thing. At the, well actually, a nether portal. With these pillars. And I decided to go ahead and bring the pillars here to make a beginning entrance and kind of an homage to uh, another portal. Decided to add that little stripe of obsidian there. Um, but yeah, that is going to be the main beginning of the nether base and I have been trying to work on expanding out the terraforming and swapping over of the swampland to the nether and it is, it's a chore. <laughs> I will tell you that much, it is a damn chore. So let's go ahead and come on over here. I should have some food somewhere, I would hope. Uh, da -da -da, we can't eat slime balls. Uh, there's not really any food in there. Uh, not really any food in there. Why do I not have food of any kind? I got some one piece of cooked chicken. Woo. Uh, apples. We could maybe take those apples. But why do I not have food? There's food. Hello. God. I knew I had food. Somewhere. But let's go ahead and take a fly over to JoJo's. Because I don't think we've some, seen JoJo at all yet this season. And JoJo is right over here. She's got this little outpost thing going on. Which is absolutely adorable. I do love it. It's small, it's quaint, and it works. Um, even has like some little rocks kind of coming up out of the ground. Very nice. Um, also has, and this is how you know it's Joe, you got Orn, and I uh, don't think we got Siffy yet, but Siffy should be coming any day now, I would imagine. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what's going on here. Oh, I didn't even know she had fishies. That's adorable. But yeah, that's what's been going on over here at JoJo's. And then we, of course, last episode covered uh, Daniel's little mining operation that he has going on and he decided to add this little doohickey let's try and not let any of the bees ex escape but he wanted to go and take advantage 115 with the buzzy bees and decided to add this little honey farm and pretty dang cute not gonna lie i don't know if that one's pollinating or what it's doing but oh nope nope it doesn't have any fuzzy on it but but yeah, I, I really don't like being in here. The whole buzzing, like, like freaks me out with the whole... Uh, it's, it's just, it's in my ear, and I don't like it. I don't like buzzing in my ear. But let's go ahead and check this out. I don't believe we had this in the last episode, so I want to go ahead and show it off now. And it is a work of art project for me, okay? This platform over here is the raiding um, platform. That makes raiding and getting loot from raids and Hero of the Village so... Ow. So nice. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to... We'll fly on the way back. But we're not going to do it right now. Um, so we got some guys in there with the profession of the loom. A.K.A. making them toss wool at you. And what we're going to do is we're going to go and come all the way over here to a farm that me and Daniel built probably literally about two months ago. I'm not going to lie. It was probably about two months ago. Month and a half, maybe. But it's so freaking long ago. It should have been covered. 
But for some reason, I just don't get around to making these episodes. I don't know why. But this is what it is. We got the evokers all the way down there. We got the illagers here. And then we got the um, <clears throat> vindicators. We got the vindicators down over there. And basically what happens is, is you have these guys just keep on spawning, doing their thing, and then they go down into a trap that's located right there. Yeah, there it is. But they'll go ahead and go down to the trap, and then they'll get sucked all the way down here, and then they go down here, and then eventually here in a second. Oh, there we go. You see them kind of go up, and then they come down, and blah, blah, blah. They go all around. And then eventually... We would have a guy with the um, with the banner on his head. I don't think we're going to get lucky and get one immediately, but I'll go ahead and stand watch and we'll get one so that way I can show off my little farm. Ha 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 ha! You know, no, no, you stupid. I've been waiting for you and you get stuck. I'll push him, push him, push him, push him, push him. Oh, it's like a coin game. Okay, so he's going to get sucked down there. And I just realized I don't have a sword. That's a bit of a problem. So I'm, I'm luckily able to make a sword with some of the stuff down here. Uh, you know what? Which one has better damage? Four attack, six attack. Of course. Of course it'd be the iron. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and have him come on in. Take all those guys out. Oh, sweet. There we go. Got the bad omen. Let's go. That is all that I wanted. And now we're going to go ahead and fly through the tunnel. Go around the corner. And now the raid has already started because of these villagers down here. And they're panicking. They're like, oh no, I can't believe it. Oh god. How could you doom us to this perilous life? And to me, I say I don't really care. And probably before we even get up here, they're going to go ahead and start falling down the ladder. Yep. <laughs> there they go. Because they're stuck to only being able to spawn on this platform. And I th don't think we'll get phantoms, so we should be fine to be up here. But the trick is, is you have to kill one of these guys. You have to kill one of them. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick out that guy. Oh man, I'm not going to kill him. Yeah, you need to kill them before they drop. Um... Once it gets to the witches level, the witches move slower. So those are the ones that I usually kill in this situation. But you have to kill something. If you want to go after one of the big beasties, by all means, you can go after one of them. But I definitely recommend going after the witches. There we go. So now that we have the kill, we can just go right down here. And we're basically done. Except that guy, for some reason, wants to glitch out. And bada bing, come on, come on, don't be like this. <sighs> We're gonna have to have a time lapse. There, it oh no, 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 one more try, one more try. Come on, big beastie, you got it. There we go. But yeah, we're going to go and do a little AFK session. I'll just go right here so that way you guys can see the hole. And we'll just come back when it's all over. So, raid victory, and we got the hero of the village. Now, if you don't want the hero of the village, or you just want to get ready to raid, then literally all you have to do is just walk past this freaking ladder. That's all you have to do. The main thing is, is I wanted to make sure that if you used this farm down here, that if you got the um, 
if you got Hero of the Vill or uh, if you got the uh, oh god dang it, the freaking thing with the banner, the freaking bad omen that you did not go start up a raid at someone else's village. Like I wanted to make sure of that that this was very controlled. And then basically what I wanted to do is I wanted to have this be a possible AFK spot for whatever someone might need. So right now I just have a setup for getting some wool from these guys. But you can take out literally any of those looms and swap them out for whatever profession that they might need. So you just pop on in there. Boop, okay, yeah, you don't get out. Uh, and then basically you just swap it out for whatever you might need. Um, if it might be some armor or blah, 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 blah. You, you get it. Whatever the hero of the village drops, you can get from that. But what I want to do is I want to make sure that we're done here, which I believe that we are with the overworld. I've got some projects planned for the future here. And I'm not going to start up another video today. I'm going to edit this one, get it out, and then uh, I'll start recording some stuff probably tomorrow. But that is it for Town Hall. Let's go ahead and hop into the nether, kind of show what's going on there, because the nether has changed quite a bit. Um, if we go ahead and come up this ladder, though, and I'll go ahead and use my rockets. I'm running out of rockets. Um, this up here is a beautiful thing. There we go. This is the gold farm that me and Daniel worked on. And for the love of God, we... <laughs> We really do work hard on what we do. And like, there's been so much that we've been doing, and I just haven't captured it. And I just feel so freaking bad that I just have not been doing my part with trying to get this stuff covered. Um, let's go ahead and use this to get out of here. And I gotta do one more. So let's go ahead and break a U. Hop over here. Break you, break you. And basically, all you have to do is you just come down here. Hopefully, we got some snowballs. We do. Actually, I already had some snowballs. And um, this is this design was done by Il Mango, I think. But basically, you just smack one of those guys, and then you have everyone just come charging at you. And then they go down to their respective little things and start dying instantly. <laughs> And you get all the XP in the world that you could possibly need. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and come back down here, though, where apparently zombies can spawn down here, and I'm not really sure why, but we had uh, we had some villagers down here with, like, some clerics, and they just didn't make it. But let's see how much gold we have. Jeez, that's a, quite a bit of gold. That's a lot of gold. That's a lot of deaths. That's a lot of deaths. And... Boy, that's a lot of rotten flesh. And some chicken, I will take it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what's been going on down here. We got another enchantment station as well. Uh, let me check the health of my wings. Okay, yeah, they're good. But yeah, it was... Uh, that project only took like three days to make, honestly. Me and Daniel like busted it out pretty fast. Uh, what I need to go next, though, is I need to go down here. Because I need to show off a base that we have not visited yet. So I'm just, I'm not sure exactly where it is, so we're going to do a cut. This definitely seems about right. Yeah, this is in fact Domi Arc's base, and I'm absolutely happy to be here. Why does that look like a tongue? That looks like a tongue. Um, ooh, oh, 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 I love it. I love seeing new stuff. Oh, man, I love it a lot. Okay, so this, I guess, is like a lighthouse-looking thing with a pier with some random bamboo, and what the heck? That's a custom tree. God, there's so much here that, and I don't have, I just have one piece of firework left, and that's it. Oh, I'm so unhappy about that. Oh. Oh. oh, yes, yes, we need to get in there, we need to get down in there, how do we get down in there, I, got, I gotta know, how do we get down in there, I, I think I know, but what is this, though, it's like a tree of life, oh, this is how we get down in here, 
Oh, the, co- the shrine to the cobble. Oh, all glory. Oh, I love it so much. Why do the flowers... Actually, okay, the flowers are actually, like, bowing to the glory of the cobble. Oh, I love it. I wish I could stay here longer, but I gotta make this video. No, this is how we get in. Okay. So, <laughs> that's awesome. No joke. I freaking love that. Uh, all glory to the cobble. Now, if we come down in here, Frostwalker, huh? That's definitely Frostwalker. What are you? Master Cleric. He's got some potions and stuff like that. Um, anything that I want to do? Eh, sure. Why not? There we go. Uh, we got 11. Is there anything that I need? No, no, I think I'm good. Um, but if we come on over here, we got some more guys. What do you got? You got Silk Touch, Projectile Protector, Frost Walker, and Fortune 3. Wow. He's a good guy. What about you? More Fortune 3 and Unbreaking. Do I have a book? I don't have a book. Is there a book around here I can borrow? No? Okay. But, wait a minute. Can I make this work? 12. I don't even have enough to begin with. Never mind. Uh, also, this was uh, left by Daniel a long time ago. And Daniel actually just got his appendix, appendix taken out. So he probably won't be on for a little while. But if we go ahead and continue on with the tour. Uh, I'm not sure what this thing is all about. Oh, it's cows. Got it. Um, so there's that. But this is what I'm really interested in. We got a nether portal movement going on here. Are, are you? Oh, you guys are tied up. Okay. I was like, is that a wandering villager? Jeez, what the heck? Okay, so if I'm right about this, that's Domiarchs. And then this over here would be, um... Oh. White list. List. That would be this over here. Oh god, I've only seen his name like a couple of times. The Doc 13? I think it's the Doc. Um, I think that would be him over here. Mushroom lighting. These look like mushrooms and I absolutely love them. It's because it's kind of like the opposite down below, so maybe more like dumbbells? But this is... This is spicy. I'm liking this. Very dark oak. With a balcony, I'm liking coming on back down smoker a lot of food so maybe this might be a designated house since it has like so many smokers in it what is this there's just a sign on top of it or a... it's like someone being burned at the stake it makes me kind of a little bit uncomfortable but they're taking advantage of the um, no fire spread but I'm guessing this has to be the dock because he had a house right here, now it's gone, and it's over there. So, that's what I'm guessing is going on there. If we come on down here, I think this is still just a regular old mine shaft. Let me see. Yeah, I believe so. I don't think anything new. Let's, let's actually cop into spectator mode really quick. Uh, game mode spec. And just kind of see if we're missing anything. But no, that looks... Yeah, it looks pretty much the same since last time. Um, let's go back over to Dome Yark and make sure we're not missing anything at all. And the fact that these go all the way down, that is some dedication right there. That is some real dedication to the build. Because you could cheat. And you could just do it down just a little bit. And then just leave it up to the interpretation that it goes all the way down. But that is dedication to make sure it does all go all the way down. This is interesting. Why do we have two storage areas? And they're not organized at all. But you got that one, and then you got this one down here. This is interesting. It's a lot of storage. Oh, we got a... We got a... We got a skeleton farm. Okay. Oh, okay. Constant redstone signal just going out. Pumping out some waste into lava. Is there anything else that I'm missing here? 
He's definitely done a lot of mining, a lot of caving. But it looks like that's about it. He's got an enchantment room down here that we didn't check out either. Or no, that's not even enchantment room. Oh, oh, I shouldn't be looking at that. I shouldn't be looking at that. Okay, I shouldn't be. <laughs> okay, um, okay, let's go. <laughs> kind of panicked there for a second there because I didn't want to figure it out. Okay, so what's going on with that? Was oh yeah, there's also a monument over there. But let, let's check this out. There's something going on here. There's something a little bit more. Okay, there's something more here, but what is it? There's something tucked back there. No. There's something more here. Oh, there it is. Oh, God, okay. God, that's quick. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're hiding the rotten flesh, people. Whoa! Ho! Ho 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 ho! Hello! Jeez. Okay, so this is the contents from the fishing farm. That's obvious to me. Wow. Okay. Okay, so you get back out that way. Got it. Okay. That's cool. But I didn't want to figure that out. I wanted to figure it out on my own. Okay, so that's really, really cool. Um, there's one last place that we need to go. Um, I'm not really going to show the way to... Actually, i got two places we got to go still. God, this is going to be a long episode. I'm sorry. But we're going to teleport to uh, John's base. Here we go. This is... Yeah, this is John's base. This is where John's currently at right now. And not a whole lot here, I don't believe. Uh, John's computer is currently down for the count, so... Until John is able to get a new computer, John is kind of going to be AFK for a while. We almost died. That is terrible. Um, but yeah, this is kind of where John's at. He's kind of working in this ravine. But John is not the only one in the Mesa. Oh, no. And in fact, I can, I can just... Uh, we can just spectator mode over to where Ben is currently at now. Which is just literally not too far. It's just right across over here. Oh boy, there's a lot here. We're going to go back into the survival mode here. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, this is cool. He's got a church. He's got a church. And a graveyard. Ooh. Okay. Now, Ben has wanted to do a western town for like a little while. It's kind of cool that he's actually got... Oh, he's the pastor. Oh, God. I don't want to attend this church anymore. But it's really cool that he's actually um, taking on the challenge of doing it this year. But if we go ahead and head on in here... I guess this is just major storage. Major terracotta storage. Uh, we got a stable. Oh, actually, really, really cool stable. And you got a jab head. God dang it. I want one. Ow, 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 ow. You have a sword. That's not cool. Okay, fine. We're not playing this game. Headshot. Headshot. Okay. And that's just some more storage. That's just more storage. But I like the houses. They very much do look western. And then if we come on in here, I think this is the saloon. Oh, hi. I was like, why the hell is there clicking? But yeah, that's... This is nice. The only thing that I would like to see is I'd like to see some pots out. So that way you have, like, some drinks going on. And it looks like this is his head collection. Not sure why there's a head collection right here, but I'm not going to argue it. And then we got a store, it looks like. Payment chest. Regular chest. We actually don't have any shops in Town Hall. That just occurred to me. Huh. But then we also got... What is this? Watering hole? Hot springs. Hot springs is a little less hot than I was expecting. Okay, just make sure he's not aggroed. Uh, we got like a forge over there. And I got the old mine shaft. Dang. That's cool. Um, 
And then, honestly, I just really like this mine shaft a lot. Because it all gradually goes down, and it's just really satisfying. I really do like it a lot. And I do love this western town. The one thing that he was talking about is that he's going to have a train go through at one of these passes at one point. Like, it's supposed to go, like, right through the town, like, up here. So I'm wondering if maybe it's supposed to be starting up here. But he's going to have it, like, come, like, right here, and then go all the way through. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Beth. Um, oh, wait. That's that's the other part of it. He was going to have two train, train tracks. He was going to have one go across over that way. And then this is the other one. Oh, we got a sign. What is this one? The train station nether hub. Yeah. Yeah, I like this a lot. I really do like this a lot. This is really cool. <laughs> it's the little things that entertain me. Okay, yeah, that's that is what is going on with Ben's, except I don't know what's going on back here. This is something I don't know. We'll check it out. One random piece of grass, I don't get it. Oh. What? What? Come again? What is this? Is this a new mining operation? What the heck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, chicken, okay, chicken heads. Woo! I thought that was Alex there for a second. Okay, I, I, like, I knew it wasn't player Alex, but I was thinking, is Alex coming back? Because he hasn't been around for a while. What? There's buoys, lanterns. Welcome to Badger Beach. Oh, wow, really? Huh. Weird. I don't think he told me anything about this. It's really cool. I like this. I actually really like this a lot. It's such a cozy little home. Except there's a piece of glass missing right there, so... Easy access to get hurt. But... Ow. Stop it. Die. But this is nice. This is very, very nice. And it can't be too far away from where he was. He should be, like, right over there. That, this is really cool. I like this a lot. Not gonna lie. I love that I found some new random bases going on. It's really, really cool. Um, but I'm gonna go and use my last rocket to boost myself all the way up there. And... Yeah, because I was wondering what was going on up here. So that's that's his little bee farm. It's up there. Let me see how we can get up there. Because I want to see that. Right. So we got to go up here. Then we got to come over here. And then there's something else here. What is, oh, okay. So this is where we were at. But we can continue going up. And that's how we get to his little buzzy bees. Got it cool but yeah that is going to do it for this episode though 42 minute record time hopefully i can get this thing cut down a little bit with some time lapses but i'm sorry it was a longer episode there's a lot to cover i'm sorry guys uh i really wish that was better at doing these and i will try with me doing the weekly video now with uh the podcast i got to keep video production up so hopefully this will help kind of kickstart things going again. I know I keep saying it, but I'm sorry. I will try and do better. But this is going to be going back out. Hopefully it'll be out on Monday. I'm currently recording this on Sunday the 23rd. And hopefully it should be out, and hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys back here in the next episode.